third and seven seven, uh, and I'm doing a little test run today on a little game called Banjo Pilot. Um, I I looked around, you know, like me and like you know three other dudes that do banjo let's plays. The uh, you know, I guess like the banjo family or the rare family, whatever, whatever you want to call us. We'll take it, whatever. Um, bottles GP. Um, we've, we've covered pretty much, uh, hold on, he's about to say something. Welcome to the Bottles Grand Prix. You can master the tracks and win all four cups. Each cup consists of four races, which f points awarded for each race, a better you finish position. The more points you get right. And so it's just like Mario Kart. Now you duel against a champion, he said. Okay. Uh, Honeycomb. I guess Kazooie is the champion of this one. Let's get this going. Honeycomb Cup is easy, okay. Alright, if you couldn't read that, just pause it or whatever, because I've only got 10 minutes, I'm just trying this out. Spiral Mountain. Alright, um, but yeah, like I was saying, me, Cypheron, X Music, and Regal. The Banjo Let's Plays. We have did, uh, we've covered pretty much every Banjo game. Uh, X Music got Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, Cypheron got Banjo-Tooie. Um, Regal Grub Grub got Grunty's Revenge. And I got Diddy Kong Racing, which, you know, of course, isn't actually a banjo game, but that's where you guys start at. And so, uh, yeah, I thought we had them all covered. I was like, sweet, cool, cool. And, um, you know, because I always go just like, sweet, cool, cool. And, um, I didn't, I completely forgot about this little game. I was just looking up stuff on the new banjo, because it would be nuts and bolts, which I'm not a huge fan of the direction they're going, but, you know, I'm open. I'm open for it. Um... And I forgot about this little game they made, Banjo Pilot. Way uh, I don't I don't remember exactly. Oh, I just got a note. Uh, I don't remember exactly what um year they made it, but uh, yeah, it got made. As you can see, it's a little racing game. And um, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. You know, so we could say that that um you know get the get the last Banjo game out, and you know say that. Our little, our little YouTubers have uh, tried them all out, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, just racing game. A is the go, B is the shoot stuff. Ice eggs like poop shit behind you like banana pills. And as you can see, that level was not that exciting. This is the problem. I I just played like one or two levels, but so far this is what the biggest problem I've seen from this game is here's all the like, characters Banjo, Jolly Roger, Humble Wumbo, Klongo, Mumble Jumbo, Gruntilda, Jinjo, and Kazooie and why the fuck does Kazooie need a plane but you know whatever let her do whatever and um anyway see look as you can see look Jinxie's Dunes it's based on a different area but just watch when I play it's pretty much the same level except the turns and stuff are different that's the main problem that this game suffers. Uh, actually, I only played like one or two races before this and just shut it off because I, I was just kind of bored. Um, those little things are boosters, just kind of like in Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, hopefully the game volume isn't too loud. I don't think it is. See, there's an ostrich. Holy shit! That means the whole level is completely different. But um, fire eggs are kind of like the red turtle shell of um this game. And see, the thing is, I figured out if you go over like a place that's not the road. Hold on, I'll turn it up a little bit. If you listen closely, you can hear the plane sputter. I don't know if you I don't know if you could hear that. The plane sputters and slows down if you go over a place that's not road. So it slows you down. So it's, it's almost like pointless for this to be a, a plane racing game. They should have just made it cars, honestly. Because, uh, you know, and the thing is, there's no obstacles, nothing. I'm just I'm just flying like this. And it's, I mean, at least if you were in a car, you would have to, you know, I don't, I don't know. But, but, um,. It's just really not this. And look, I just went straight for about ten seconds. Well, not not ten seconds. I'm over exaggerating, but you know, for a while, it's just it's not that exciting. It's not it's not very cool. I mean, it's kind of sad that Diddy Kong Racing came out uh, 
I don't know, like I said, I don't know exactly when this game came out, but at least a few years before it. And it's playing tracks. Kick the shit out of this one's. But, um, uh, I don't know. I mean, this is just a Game Boy Advance game, you know, so that's an excuse, but still, I mean, come on. With games like Mario Kart Super Circuit on the GBA, Freeze Easy Peak, I, I haven't played this yet, I've only played two. There's whales. Whales make the level different. I will no longer notice that it is the same level with different turns. Because there's whales. Free Willy! Fuck yeah! Um. But yeah, it's, um. So you just look at it. It just kind of seems, the whole game just seems kind of very drab and uninspired. And, um. Were there, there weren't. There were, I don't even think there were whales in Freeze Easy Peak in Banjo Kazooie. I really don't think. No, there wasn't. If I remember right. Um, there's the big snowman from it, but that's about it. Yeah, just the whole game just feels pretty uninspired. Nothing, I mean, it really honestly could have been a kart racing game. It probably would have been better as a kart racing game. Just because it's, it, it's, it's kind of hard to explain unless you play it, but it just really feels dull flying around. It feels like there's so much missed potential, like, you're just flying. Nothing. And it really takes out a big part of it when you fly over stuff and it slows you down. Like, what the hell? That kind of defeats the whole purpose of you being a plane. But, I don't know. Speed shoes give you a boost. Uh, I don't know if you can still do barrel rolls and stuff. I think you can. Oh, whoa, I just did a loop. Yeah, you can do a loop. Uh, you hold down L. There's Grunny. <laughs> no, Mumbo. I want to win. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was the finish line. And the graphics are alright for a Game Boy Advance game. It kind of feels like it's 3D, but, eh. You know. I mean, if there's nothing to make with the graphics, or if there's no obstacles, then it's kind of pointless to have good graphics in the first place. But, you know. Anyway. Yeah, I just want to give this game a t This is Hail Hailfire Peaks. This is from Banjo Tooie. Um. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to give this game a test drive, because, you know, not only has it not been played by any of us, but it really hasn't been mentioned by any of us. I complete. I didn't know it existed at all. I mean, I had heard of it a long time ago, but I forgot it was around. So it interested me a little bit as a UFO. I don't know what this does. Just kind of flew off, I guess. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get it out since we, you know, we put out every other banjo game to you YouTubers. Figure it wouldn't hurt to get out the last one. And it's it's really not that great, unfortunately. I mean, it's you know, I guess it's kind of entertaining in short bursts, but when you figure out you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over, it's it's not really that cool. But you know, I love banjo, love his games. I mean, if this wasn't banjo, and, oh wait, oh you've got a little machine gun you can shoot. <laughs> Well, I didn't know that. It's kind of like you have a constant we weapon. I guess that's kind of neat. Golden Feather makes you invincible, just like the star. And increases your top speed, just like the star. Um, yeah, just, um, as you can see, just really not that exciting. If it, if it didn't have the Banjo characters in it, I probably wouldn't give it any credit at all. Just I mean, I just like Banjo. See, look, like there's lava right here. Holy shit. It made me stutter a little bit. I mean, there's no point. I mean or if you're in a plane there's not really any point to do any of that lava or anything it's just the whole game feels like it's just missing something like it's just weird like it's like a kart racing game in a plane I don't know very good you know okay so this is a battle it looks like all right we're only gonna we only got about a minute left because we clash let's do this shit because we only got a minute left, so I'll give you some impressions, like, you know, my last little impressions while I'm doing this.
see you at this little machine. I guess I'm supposed to shoot her. Uh, oh, yeah, she's got a little life bar down there. Oh, she's shooting clockwork Kazooie eggs at me. Um, yeah, I'm about to have to cut it off. I probably won't be able to beat her. But, um, oh, oh, now she's behind me. And, um, ah, she's shooting at me. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, little impressions. Not that great of a game. You know, might be a little bit fun in a short little burst, but as you can see, the levels just weren't that exciting, and it was pretty dull. It's a pretty dull game overall, sad to say. You know, I mean, not a good mark on Banjo's rep, but, you know, not very many people remember it, so it's not a big deal. But it's, it's, it's probably not actually a bad game, just compared to, like, Mario Kart and stuff, it's really nothing. But not worth your time, honestly. If you're a huge Banjo fan, check it out. But you know, yeah, that's it for Test Drive of Banjo Pilot. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. I will see you next bit on Diddy Kong Racing.